Welcome to the JavaScript tutorial video. In this video, we will learn about JavaScript. So first, let's try to understand what is JavaScript. JavaScript is basically a scripting language supported by most of the browser of the world, and it is useful to add functionality, validate forms, and make the web page more interactive. And JavaScript is its case sensitive language. For example, let me show you an example here. So let's say suppose you are declaring any variable called first name equal to for example su and if another variable is first name both variable will be treated as two different dependent variables because here the first character is small and here the first character of the first name variable is capital so this is what the uh, case sensitive case sensitive means before i proceed further let me just uh, give you one uh, word of caution the whole video will be a complete theory video because here we are just going to learn about the introduction and how to uh, add javascript code and all other stuff so there will be hardly any practical stuff okay so do not get bored about it so uh, now the next thing is that how to write javascript statement in order to write javascript statement uh, we need to simply terminate the uh, javascript statement by semicolon as you can see here i have terminated using the semicolon so and then you can go ahead with the next statement into the javascript and all the quotes in the javascript that you are that you want to group must be covered with the opening braces and the closing braces so for example let me show you one example here you can see that if suppose this is the javascript code for example function test and if i have to write code for this particular function then i will have to wrap this our code with the opening braces and the closing braces and in between whatever we want to write we can write it okay so these are the two things the statement of the javascript must end with the semicolon because that is called a terminator uh, character in javascript and its code should be wrapped with the opening braces and the closing braces because it is used to group the code now how to write a com comment in javascript it is very simple if you have to write a single line comment then you will have to simply write two forward slashes for example this is the comment and in case you have to comment more than one line then you can use forward slash asterisk mark and the closing is asterisk mark and forward slashes and after that you can write whatever function you want to write whatever javascript code you want to write so in case you have to comment a single line then you can use two forward slashes if you have to comment multiple lines then instead of writing every time two forward slashes you can simply write forward slash asterisk mark and close it with asterisk mark and forward slashes so here we are commenting three lines of code now how to declare a variable in javascript it's actually very simple like i did here either you can use var keyword for example here i have used var d equal to new date so here what we are doing is that we are basically declaring a d variable and then you can write the data or you can use the variable wherever you want if you are not declaring any uh, variable using var you are just writing for example first first name equal to su then by default what happens is that javascript will treat this as a variable and it will automatically keep prefix it with the var so even if it will not appear and even if you have not explicitly write it uh, it will be assumed that you you want to declare the variable and it will be treated as a valid statement so you may or you may not write the var keyword in order to declare the variable however the best practices is to use the var keyword to declare the variable in javascript now one very important point to note 
here is that the variable name must start with the alphabet character or the underscore okay you cannot write the variable name with 1 2 3 and first name because that will be treated as wrong so the variable name should start with the alphabet characters or you can start with the underscore as well for example like this now in case we want to show an alert to the user in javascript then we can use the alert method that is an inbuilt method of javascript so let us go ahead and see that here is my alert now here what we are doing is that we are let me just simply write it here itself A script language equal to javascript type equal to text and javascript and in case I just want to show the alert then I will write alert and whatever message we want to show uh, as alert so for example this is alert now when I will run this page what will happen is that this this message will come as an alert to the end user in this case I am the end user you can see that this is an alert is coming now where and how to keep the javascript code as you might have noticed here that all the javascript code must be kept under the script block so we'll have to start the script block you'll have to specify the language you should also specify the type and under that you can keep your javascript code and that javascript code can be a single line code or it can be multiple line code for example here you can see now how to prevent javascript code showing up in case the browser does not support javascript as i said earlier that javascript is basically a, a scripting language okay and end user have ability to disable the javascript from their browser at all so in case user has disabled the javascript and your page is running in that browser then what will happen is that all the javascript code will appear as it is so instead of giving alert to the user this alert and this is an alert will appear as it is in the output of the page so in this case if javascript will not be enabled here so here all this code will appear alert this is the script here and that is not good because that is not written for that purpose that is written in order to show the alert so in case you have to uh, hide th those code the javascript code that you have written on the page uh, in the scenario where user has disabled the javascript then you can wrap your code with less than sign of exclamation dash dash and two forward slashes dash dash and then greater than now let us take the example of this page now when in this page this page will run then what will happen if the uh, if the javascript is disabled for my browser what will happen is that this code will appear as it is into the output here but this code will not appear why because this code is wrapped with this tag so this is very important ideally in almost all code that you write into, into the html you should wrap your code with these two tags okay to make sure that your code this code is not appearing in the output when javascript is disabled into the user browser now where to keep javascript code in html page okay ideally you should keep your javascript code into the head and head block for example here this is head and he head closing now ideally you should keep all your javascript code here under head but you are not forced to do that or it is not also mandatory to keep all your script javascript code inside the head you can keep it anywhere you want for example here i have kept in the head and here i have also kept in in the body at the last of the page so both are perfectly all right and both are perfectly valid however it is suggested to keep the javascript code under the head data but if it is not possible in some scenario then you can keep anywhere you want in the html page but make sure that you are keeping before the closing body tag 